And then, you know, they, they're they different, they, there's different types of, of coffee beans. You get, you get like okay. a cappuccino. Let him explain no. now. No. <laughs> That's you're the, wrong the cappuccino there. bean. No. Okay. You get the cappuccino so, bean okay. latte so bean. So you've got. Just watching you is entertaining enough, to be honest, because this guy, he like yells. He's like, I am not. Defense! 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 Go! Defense! Okay. You get the person there, they're just tapping me. And I, I turned around and there was no one there. And I nearly managed to jump. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I nearly managed to jump out of the water without pushing off anything. Like I, I actually think I went up that <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Making Ways podcast. I am Killian Carell. And I'm Nolan. And today joining us is a very fast swimmer, Australian champion in the 18-year-old men. Your name is Dylan Thompson. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Nolan. <laughs> so, Dylan, you are some kind of expert barista, yes. super fan of the lightning that ball, and the Gold Coast Suns, Suns fanatic. Yes. Um, Quite there's clearly. A lot. There's, <laughs> a lot. Right. there's a lot Rampers to say about Suns. <laughs> Very interesting. There's yeah. a lot to say. So, firstly, um, what are your... Well, yeah, we know what your passions are, but why yeah. are you so passionate about swimming, AFL, lightning? Um, with swimming, I think it just sort of came naturally. I probably started competing a bit later than most people do. I was and why thir- is that? Thirteen. Because you I grew up sailing. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> and legends put, say that you're a god at sailing. I was quite good, to be honest. For a ten-year-old, I was doing quite well for myself. How well? But uh I'd go to the surf club every Wednesday and beat all my dad's mates and been doing it for 40 years <laughs> and they all hated me for it and that's probably why I quit, check. but it's fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, I started swimming at probably 13. Um, did my first open water race when I just turned 15 at 20, Damn. 2019. You're um, a virgin to the sport. Absolutely. Just like no one. Yeah. Yeah. Life. <laughs> um, yeah, 2019 Queensland Open Water, and I came equal second in the 5K with Dougal Richmond. Oh, it seems to be yeah. a yeah. recurring thing. Um, it does, but yeah, and then went to National Open Water at in Adelaide in the beginning of 2020, and that's when I sort of realised Open Water was what I wanted to do. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's for me. Yeah, and then 2022, no, 2023. 2022. No, 2022 season. Oh, guys, come on. 2023. Dates. Bro, won the under 18. I won the 18 years 10K at Nationals this year, made the Australian Australian development team, which I was very happy about. At least. Yeah. Um, So hopefully Junior Worlds next year. Yes. Yeah. But yes. Me and you together. Absolutely. (laughs) Come play my make it because you boys are on top of it. Absolutely. All right. So um, moving on from swimming. Yes. You are a barista. I am a barista. I think you've been working there for a long time. I've been, well, I've only been at Blended for just over a year. Yeah. Um, I've been I've been working for just over five. I've been a barista for just over four. Yeah. Um. Years. So. So you've been a barista for almost as long as you swim. Well, I started working pretty much the same month that I started competing. Oh. So yeah, around around oh, the same time. Yeah. Was, so I, you're like an Australian champion at barista making. I'm uh, not quite there yet. Not quite there. I I I'd like to think I'm quite. Can you do any barista art? Yeah, I can do like, well, your basic ones like tulips, rosettas, and then swans. Tried to do a seahorse once, that went terribly. (laughs) Turned into a (laughs) whale. Get there. (laughs) Um, Yeah, and, but obviously, blenders take away on me, so it's more just fast paced. Mm. Yeah. Slinging coffees out. You get in the zone, eh, doing that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, you just. You, during a rush, it's like you just shut everything else out and you just switch on. And just like, it's very, yeah. Okay, we get it. We get it. We get it. We get it. <laughs> Thank you, Noah. We get us all cancelled. All right, so um, you're an AFL netball enthusiast. Yes. So the Gold Coast we'll Suns we'll and the Gold Coast Lightning. We'll start with AFL. Um, Gold Coast well, Suns. yes, Gold Coast Suns. I'm one of the five Gold Coast Suns fans that exist, but hey, we, we no, it. seven now because <laughs> we're going to yes, the, um, the yeah, 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 start yeah. Lions versus Gold Coast Suns yes, on the 29th. Going for Gold Coast, yes. Um, if they win, 
Will they win? Uh, we will see. <laughs> I don't want to be too confident because when I'm too confident, that usually ends badly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I like I was living in Victoria sort of when I was like three to six years old so when you start knowing what sports are. Yeah. So that's sort of how I got into AFL and then we moved up to the Sunshine Coast the year that the Gold Coast Sun started. So I think that was sort of... I just sort of switched over to them. I was an Essendon fan when I was very young. But, and then, yeah, stuff Essendon. Jeez. Well, Gold yeah. Gold Coast Suns. We, we moved up here and then the Sun started and then Essendon had this whole drug saga because they were all dopey and they were <laughs> banned. Um, so, yeah, just sort of naturally Gold Coast switched Sun. over and now I'm the tad obsessed. And, oh, tad, <laughs> tad obsessed. Tad tad obsessed. Tad obsessed. Say, all his money he makes, a barista goes straight, straight to, to the Gold Coast Suns, Suns and or Australia a trip to Canada. So we, yeah, we'll get to that. A trip to Canada. Um, <laughs> and the Lightning. Yes. So, I mean, meaning to ask you, have you always been a Sunshine Coast Lightning fan? Well, so the Lightning only started in 2017 when... Really? That early? Yeah. So the... Before that, it was a combined Australian and New Zealand league, and then they split that off and then added three extra teams in Australia. So they gave a license to Collingwood Magpies, AFL, Melbourne Storm NRL, and GWS Giants AFL. So the two AFL clubs just put a team where their AFL team is. Yeah. And then Melbourne Storm, because there were already two Victorian teams, Storm put a team on the Sunshine Coast, and that's where the Lightning came from. And From AFL? Or NRL. And then our own team. What? So you're telling me you're, um, so Sunshine Coast Lining is linked with Melbourne they're Storm? They're owned by Melbourne Storm. It's the same company. What? Yeah. I didn't know That's that. That's the same colours and everything. And, oh. Yeah. Because um, the Storm own our state league and our team. So when they got off the licence, they were like, oh, the Sunshine Coast. Well, the Sunshine Coast Council actually approached the Storm and were like, yeah, do you want to go together? And they said, yes. So, um, yeah, down. Yeah, and then probably the first two seasons, I was like, I followed it, but I wouldn't say I was like a big fan. Yeah, and then yeah, like us right now. Yeah, with your, with your one game where, you're, low key where you were watching me and not actually watching the game. Well, no, to be honest, we were watching the women. Yeah, you were watching All right, so this, <laughs> this, this, the so this was another question I've been meaning to ask you. Yes. Do you go to the, the um, Sunshine Coast Lightning to watch the gameplay or do you yes, watch the no, women? to watch the gameplay. What, did it start off watching the women and then no, it, went... it It started <laughs> off, okay, the first time I saw netball was I was flicking on TV when it was like 2016 Fast Fives or something and I was watching it and I was like, oh, this is actually a decent sport. And then I realised the Sunshine Coast were getting a team and I was like, oh, okay, I'll go watch one game. And I went and it ended up being like we drew with the Giants. It was like an insane game. And I was like, oh, this is actually like a really good sport. And yeah. that's how I got into it. So no, I was not speaking for her. In other words, <laughs> in other words, he saw a girl he liked and no, he thought, oh, yes, let's go. The, yeah, sure. Let's, we'll, let's we'll run just... with that. <laughs> Kelly well, picked up you know, at his first yeah, lightning well, game. I, no. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it. Bro. Right. <laughs> I, I, was, I was watching the netball game and I was... You were, you were watching me. I was approached. I was, I was watching you. Yeah. Like, just watching you is entertaining enough, to be honest, because this guy... He like yells. He's like, I'm like defense, 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 go, defense, <laughs> you get, defense. You get me in a sporting game and I'm a completely different. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember what? So you go, the you game, go And you told me to go defense. <laughs> yes. And then I kept on going and then no one else kept on going. And I went, <laughs> yeah. defense. And no one, the whole yeah, thing went quiet great. and looked at me. Look, oh. you, th you think I was bad at the netball, you way too exceeding in the AFL. I'm going to film you. Actually, this will come out after the AFL, so we can probably add in some clips. I've seen some, videos yeah, of in the AFL. Clip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like you, like, waving the flag. The like, three. you're literally putting the your whole by body weight on it. Like, it's a three by three flag with a PVC pipe as a pole. It's, <laughs> it's quite heavy. <laughs> You're so all, else you the do deal the is when, when you come to the AFL, you're all having a go on the three by three. Okay. Yeah, I'm also having a go on the banner. So you're the dedicated yes. flag bearer. Uh, well, He's the banner boy. I, want to be. The banner I, boy? I passed it off last week. You're the banner boy. I also, yeah. So for everyone that knows AFL, you'll know like the club, the teams run out through the big banner things and you've got the cheer squad who sit in the bay behind the goals. We've got all the massive flags. Anyway, 
I organise that. It's the cheer squad. I run, I run, <laughs> I run the Gold Coast cheer squad. So <laughs> I organise the banner raises on game day, sort of keep everything running smoothly. And then obviously the away games that I can't go to, which I go to most of them, but the away games that I can't go to, obviously like communicating with people that are going to be there, making sure everything goes well. So yeah, it's sort of, it's, it's a whole operation. It's a, it's a second, it there. it's a second job that I don't get paid for, but I do enjoy it. So it's fine. It's worth do, it. Do the boys um, in the team enjoy your presence? Do they know? Uh, you? Um, a couple of them know who I am. A lot of the AFLW players know who I am because there's a lot less people. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. There we go. <laughs> there is a lot less people at the AFLW and there's a lot less loud people at the AFLW. So, <laughs> so you're the loudest and, one. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Is that your kind of riz, just rizzing women yeah. up at the AFLW? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, you can't do that. <laughs> no, well, no. Um, <laughs> yeah, but... Yeah, a couple of the boys know me and, like, and even if they don't know me personally, like, they always thank us after the games for, like, the yeah. support and everything because being a small club, even at our home games, it's usually about an 80 to 20 crowd for the, for the away team. <laughs> but so, you count as, like, five people, so yeah, it's all exactly. good. exactly. It's fine. Yeah. So, it technically, if you have 50 Dylans, you have 2,000, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, 250, 250, 250 people. Sorry, yeah. my bad. <laughs> that was bad, man. <laughs> yeah, but no, nah, there's, there's a few others that really get around them. Um, Liam's another guy from the sunny coast. So I just oh, drive him down every weekend for the game. Are you like his sugar daddy? Do you drive him around? Well, no, he's just lazy. <laughs> and Liam, when you're listening to this, you're lazy. So get your peas so I don't have to keep paying fuel <laughs> every week. This is a wake um, up call, Liam. Yes, it is. Get on no, your feet. I, actually, Even if you fail, I fell that. three times. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just that, talk actually, about how I, many times you failed? Yeah, yeah. Let's bring that up. Quickly. So number one, what well, happened? What was what the, first? Right, the first one? I was just a nervous wreck. I, don't, I think I, 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 you know what happened? I sped in the um. I am sped, but I sped. <laughs> I sped through the the work yeah, zone, yeah. the roadworks, and she said that she was going to let that slide if I didn't speed again through the next roadworks <laughs> when I sped through the next roadworks uh, and it was what was it 16 or 40 yeah, or 80 yeah, or no it was six, no, 16 or 40 zone yeah. and I don't know why I, I didn't know because I usually drive that yeah. road a lot and then apparently I would have I passed everything else apart yeah. from that so then we got back, we had a cry, <laughs> had a cry. <laughs> and then what did we do the second time? And then the second time, we had to wait like another two months to get back into the thing. I get in there, get out of the complex, the first roundabout, I fuck up. So this guy actually <laughs> goes what? straight in the lane that you can only go left in. Yes. So you, he basically drives over the island. I was so nervous, dude. I don't, <laughs> yeah. I don't even know. And I just did the loop around and I came back and the test was over. Like How many minutes did, you, did your test last? Like two minutes. minutes. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> so then we had another cry. The third, yeah, time no, the the third time's a charm. I wanted to keep that a secret, but obviously. Yes. Didn't work. But yeah, I think, I think by the time this actually comes out, Liam will have his piece. So well done. Yeah. Man. Good job. And. I will be taking you off. We applaud. I will be taking you off on the list. Yes. Thank you. Because um, we, want, we want you to be able to pay off your car that you've... Yes. <laughs> I'm like halfway there. Yeah, good job. I think. I'm, I'm like, almost a year later. I have no idea. I think I'm halfway there. It's 100 weeks. So, yeah. Oh, nice. All right. So, I wanted to ask yes, you how you go. manage... Um, no, no, no. It's not about cans yet. Not that. Um, okay, not so, that. you're a busy boy. Yes. Very busy boy. <laughs> yes, I am. So, how do you manage... Work, life, and fun, like work, life, swimming. Uh, with not enough sleep. No, yeah, clearly. <laughs> no. No. Staying up I, late I, nights, I, talking I, to someone. I wonder why you sound like a night. I have had eight hours sleep every night since Friday. Yeah, and why is that? I'm doing great. No, His great. girlfriend in Cairns is going on a little trip, I think, and there's no service. So <laughs> Wait, okay, okay, we'll get to that. Let's, we'll get to that. Let's, get let's, to that let's just ask him how he manages. Okay, no, so, well... Obviously, like, as we all do, we train until 7.30 every morning and then have brekkie, go to work, work 8.30 to 2.30, back to training. So that's a pretty standard day. Like, it's nothing too 
stuff is too crazy. No, and then um, I'm really lucky. I've got a really flexible workplace. They're pretty good, so I get mo- when I don't when I want a weekend off, I get the weekends off. So don't usually work Saturday, Sunday. Finish training on a Saturday. If it's a Saturday footy game. Drive down to the Goldie. Go to the footy. Sometimes I'll be footy and netball on the same weekend, so I'll go to footy one day, netball the other. Yeah. Um, if it's an away game, early Sunday away games are the best because you can I can fly down Saturday Arbo, go to the game on Sunday, fly back straight after, yeah. or even day trip it on Sunday. Yeah. But um, and who do you usually go with? With the footy. He's other girl. His other, girl, his other girlfriend. Okay, my literal. <laughs> extra sister that I've known since we were like <laughs> six years old. <laughs> she um, might even listen to this podcast. Oh, me will definitely. Hello, Mia. Hello, Mia. <laughs> she actually um, recently started following us on Instagram. Yeah, because I, I Did she actually? Yeah. yeah. I, I told oh, her. And she saw your really great well, Sam's Taylor thing. And oh, like, what on earth are these kids doing? <laughs> Dude, that actually went semi all right. It did. It no, did. Mia is my extra sibling who is also a netball fanatic so we go to all the lightning <laughs> games and all the some of the away games we've done a sydney trip like three years in a row so nice that's fun actually the first sydney trip was with, was with other people I remember that sydney trip remember we got kicked off the baby was that the right one <laughs> <laughs> that was before we went to sydney and i slept on the floor on a yoga mat which was fine <laughs> it was fine i had a great sleep <laughs> I didn't get kicked off the bed. I just didn't get laid on the bed in the first place. <laughs> before we do that, before we get to that, I want to ask one, one more question, yes. unscripted. Um, so given that you're living on your own, yes, you live away from your parents' house, yeah. you're 17. I think you moved out when you were 17. 15, 17. Well, the first time when I was 16 and the second time yeah. when I was 17. So how... So, like, that must be really hard for you, isn't it? Like, or is it, it – can you manage or, like, it's how's not it going? too bad. Like, I guess, I don't know, for me, it didn't really phase me. Brisbane was different, like, yeah. being in Brisbane by myself because I barely knew anyone other than the people from training. So, that was, like – and I was 16. Like, that was probably a bit too early. But mm. it, it did work and I was fine. I survived. My swimming didn't go backwards. It didn't really improve, but it didn't go backwards. But yeah. I think that was, there was a few factors to that. But um, no, yeah. Brisbane was all right. But then, yeah, sort of moved back home for six months and then got an opportunity to move to Noosa so I didn't have to drive half an hour every day and it was sort of a no-brainer. Like, yeah. it's gone from a 35-minute drive to a three-minute drive. So, But, yeah, like, my housemates are great. We all, like, everyone works mornings, so we're all in bed by 8 o'clock. Yeah. Um, yeah, in bed at by eight o'clock. Sleep by eight o'clock, but we're in bed by eight o'clock. I love um, how you use the keyword in bed, in bed. rather than yes, sleep in bed by eight o'clock. I sleep by eleven. No, <laughs> not every night. No, no. Usually, Sometimes. usually I'm actually pretty good. By the way, what like ten thirty? <laughs> no, it was just that one week last week was bad, but usually, and yeah. I've made up for it this week. But usually, I'm pretty good. Anyway, um, but yeah, like, I don't know, I work a fair bit, so money's not really a struggle. It'd be less of a struggle if I didn't spend it all on flights, but... Yeah. Um, <laughs> on flights where? To footy games. Yeah. Obviously. Canberra. Obviously. And Sydney. And maybe Tassie. And, and maybe Cairns. And maybe from eight finals, Melbourne. So what's, what um, about this Cairns trip? Yeah, this we've Cairns been, trip. <laughs> we've had to wait a long time yeah. for this Cairns trip. Well, no, we haven't had to wait very long. We've, oh, I already know. We've what, had to wait long. long. Um, I'm going to Cairns. <laughs> so I'm going to Cairns for three days because I believe it will be good for my mental health, <laughs> and yeah, it no. will make me. <laughs> it will be beneficial. You will be meditating in the hotel room. Okay, with no, a guest. Thank you. <laughs> we'll go with that. No, it will be good. It will be enjoyable. What will you tell our coach? Yeah, that is that is a big question. What will you tell our coach? Because oh he doesn't God, like no, he doesn't, he doesn't like, like that kind of stuff. So what will you tell him? Yes, and he'll not we kind of need to formulate a plan here. Well, no, I think well, no, I think we're just gonna go. We're just gonna go. That's a family thing. Yeah, 
And then if, right, if you ask for more information, it's, grandma's birthday. it's my grandma's 80th birthday. And In everyone's case. going. Okay. Yeah, that's um, <laughs> this is what we're going with. But In a hotel room. Shut, okay, we it's can, all right. It's we all right. Move past yeah, that. Yeah, we can get past that. Thank you. But no, I am. I'm hoping this is still going well by the time this comes out. Otherwise, it's going to be really awkward. Bro, <laughs> we'll, right, we'll, right, we'll, get, we'll get an this, update before this, the podcast goes out. As long this as you can get it out around yeah. mid-August. So yeah. I think you'll be right. We're ignoring Noel's comment. Yeah, um, as long as he can get it up. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're ignoring Noel's comment. But no, I I think I think it will go well. For anyone who isn't catching on, Dylan is going to go Cairns um, as a guest slash No, I'm, okay, I'm going to Cairns to see, to see a girl that I've been talking to on a daily basis for like... So pretty cool. No. <laughs> We've been talking every day for like two months. It is not a booty call. All right. And it was very well thought out. You know what? It's fair enough. enough. Fair enough. It was very well thought out. You know what? You deserve it. The flights. You deserve it. You deserve every single piece of that hotel room. (laughs) (laughs) No no, no control. Well, okay. (laughs) It was a thought out decision, and I have no regrets. And I'm hoping that I will have no regrets. By the time this episode comes out. You might be a dad. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> Bit far. Okay, that was <laughs> guys, let's move on. Yes. Okay. What is right here thing? I have prepared a new segment for the podcast. Yes. It is called Would You Rather? Now I was <laughs> thinking before we start, I reckon we should sing a song. Right. <laughs> I reckon I'm like the ultimate song we for should- this. We should sing a song about Would You Rather. No, no, no. Uh, no, 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 no. Would You Rather. Can, would you, can we oh, Can we also sing a song? I really, I've really, really been really wanting to sing to a Amy Sharp song. Right, go. Right, can you get this song up? Uh, and then, you, okay, okay, guys, no one's going to sing Amy Sharp. No, I'll get the lyrics up. What's the name of the lyrics? The song? It's called Can I Shower At Yours. He's going to sing Can I Shower At Yours. I'm going to sing the whole song. Is it a duet or is it just Nolan? No, just me. Oh. No, duet, oh, duet, 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 duet. Yeah, I'll leave the chorus to you then. <laughs> oh, we wanna be Why? That's the wrong song. Is this the right one? Oh, no, that's... No, let's just do it on here. Yeah, it's do it on Dylan's because he's got better knowledge. No, but you got to hold up the phone to the speaker, so we need one lyrics. What? Are we Are we putting the music in the background? Yeah. Oh, so it's going to be like a karaoke yes. type. Yes. Okay. Well, the lyrics are on here. So it's fine. I can just do this. Right. Oh, but is it going to play this? The, is yeah, it yeah, it'll play scroll it? down. Yeah. So turn your volume up. How loud are we doing All this? the way up. Well, no, that's going to be very oh. loud in the speaker. You're not going to be able to hear you. All right. <laughs> are, we, are we doing this? No, a bit louder than that, I reckon. Okay. Yeah, we can, right, we can cut this. All right. We can yeah, cut yeah. this. Okay. Are we ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. You know what you want to do? do? I want to lose my mind with you. Wait, Wait sorry, a second of my life with you. I want to lose me. I shout quickly. I, I could be insane. I just want to stay. I just want to spend my life with you. I'm going to love and just lie with you. If you try to kiss me, watch out quickly. I fall for you. Fall for you. Fall for you. Now watch out quickly. I fall for you. Fall for you. Now watch out quickly. I Fall for you, <laughs> fall for you, I fall for you. And everybody knew that I would fall for you. Now, now watch out quickly, I fall for you, I fall for you, fall for you. Now watch out quickly, I fall for you, I fall for you, I fall for you. Now watch out quickly, I. Oh, that was shocking. Right. Well, you we... almost brought the black drop down with you when you were bouncing on that seat. Kurt, can we, are we going to really tell who knows that song? Yeah. We can right. no longer call Dylan the fan of Amy Shark. It's gold. We haven't even brought up Amy Shark. Yeah. Shire. That's the yeah, song about Amy Shark. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's do right, right, the game first. Let's do the game first. I'll I'll sing, yes. And you guys beat. All right. Okay, well, okay so it's, it's Would You Rather. So. I'll set a beat and then you you do something that has, you, you. Oh, this is gonna be shocking. Okay, you set the beat and I'll, I'll just. This is also gonna be. Just, just come on, start the beat. Uh, start uh, the beat. Um. Would you rather segment? It's time to learn what Dylan would rather do. 
Thank you, Nolan. Welcome to the new um, segment about Would You Rather. Yeah. So, Dylan, I have a prepared for you five questions. <laughs> oh, no, no. Um, I want you to answer them truthfully. I will. Um, they are, they're not that hard. And we'll dissect they're not, they're the not answer too hard. you answer them. Okay. We will, we will dissect the answer. Yes. Okay, so first question is pretty easy. Yep. Would you rather go to jail or a psych asylum for a year? Jail for a year or a psych asylum for a year? Yeah. I feel like jail. Jail? Uh, Why, what's your reasoning? I feel like... Well, hang on. Am I in a psych asylum because I am no. psychotic or am I in a psych no. asylum? Okay, well, so just, you're in jail because you're not psychotic, but, also, but you could be in a psych asylum because... Actually, you're not psychotic at all. I but that you get falsely accused of, like, being a psycho. I still feel like... Uh, no, no, I feel like jail because you'd have more like people to talk to. You'd have more like you'd have more sane people to talk to. Yeah, you'd you'd be able to like make friends easier in jail. I feel like the reason why and Dylan you, will go to a psych asylum is because he'll go too crazy with a sun scan. Yeah, probably. Surprised <laughs> <laughs> that happened already. Okay. After that Melbourne game, <laughs> I don't know why I didn't want this. I didn't say that out loud. <laughs> Okay, if you had to choose, this one's controversial. If you had to choose between only supporting the Sunshine Coast Lightning or oh, the Gold Coast Suns, the yeah. answer, who would it be? Sorry, Lightning, but the Suns. Why? I thought this would I, be harder. No, he's done the I've team. followed Gold. Oh. Well, I've followed <laughs> Gold Coast for longer, and I just like I am. I do follow AFL more, and I think I couldn't give up. You sun. couldn't give up on the Suns. give up. Fair enough. Sorry, Lightning. I, I hope you're listening, Gold Coast. Okay, this one's harder because I hope you know the people I'm talking about. Okay. So you better. Well, you better know who we're talking about. I don't know. Would you rather cook for Gordon Ramsay Ooh. or live with David Goggins for a week? Well, I don't know. I cut it You don't know who David Goggins is. David Goggins. All right, well, we'll change it. You know Let's... when Tom at training, he's like, Who's going to carry the boats? Nah, but he, when, he, he, he'll choose... What's David choose Goggins from? Gordon David Ramsay Goggins is a Navy SEAL and he, like, yeah. lives his life killing himself, like, doing workouts. Like, he, he literally does, like, a hundred pull-ups. Well, if I live with him, do I have to do his workouts? You have yes. to do his workouts. But I'd cook for Gordon Ramsay. You'd cook for Gordon Ramsay? Right, so that's fair enough. Yeah, I feel like he's I got that barista blood you know? Like, yeah. Well, yeah, I'm just making yeah. coffee. Gordon Ramsay doesn't cook bad bowls. Bro, imagine if he yells at you for cooking for making bad coffee. Well, he would. <laughs> imagine if he says your coffee's bad. <laughs> that would be a very hurtful. Oh gosh. Okay, uh, this one's hard. Okay. Would you? Um, I'm saying these ones are hard, but you're like answering them really easily. <laughs> well, I don't even know. But anyway. Would you rather get caught cheating or catch your partner cheating? <laughs> no, okay. I think I have a wrong really, time to take a sip. <laughs> wrong time to take a sip. I have a really guilty conscience, so I feel like I'd, it'd be less traumatic for me to catch my partner cheating. I could get over that quicker because then yeah. you just move on from them. Whereas yeah, if you enough. cheat, that's it. Oi, but we're talking about catching your partner cheating, like having another bloke balls deep. Yeah, but like, like you walk in, like imagine uh, turning I, up to Cairns. Well, okay, let's not. And there's another one <laughs> going. Let's, let's, stop. let's not go there. <laughs> um, I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, you killed. Um, anyway, so no one's just <laughs> no one's passing away. Um, no, okay. But like, I feel like still, if you catch your partner cheating, you you break up with them and move on. Yeah. Whereas if you cheat, that lives with you forever. Or something you yeah, that's fair that's enough. fair enough. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So last one. Yes. This one was my, was I got inspired to write this one because I heard the boys um the boys did it this morning. They farted really loudly. Oh, and like oh, it didn't stink but it was like really fucking loud yes they do it every day they do it every day yes. I do it everyone yeah. does it I'm the only one that doesn't you're the only one who <laughs> does it <laughs> so normal Dylan Dylan is perfect guys he is I am he is I am the angel he is 
Italian. Dylan is well, perfect. Okay. okay. I should, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we might have to beat that name out, eh? Would you rather only be able to do really loud farts, but I'm saying like the loudest ever, like, Tom like Raymond embarrassingly farts. loud, yeah, Tom yeah. Raymond farts, yeah. <laughs> or silent ones, but they are the stinkiest farts in the world? Silent ones because no one knows it's you. No, no, but everyone knows it's you because it's like your stench. It's like your key You get stench. caught once and then you just like, oh. This is this is hard. That's, I reckon it's a hard one. That's, this is actually a hard <laughs> one. No, I reckon you take the loud one because you could just yeah. claim it. You could just claim yeah, it. Yeah, I feel like the loud one. The just, signature you just Dylan gotta, Thompson vibe. You just gotta hold it in when you're like at work. Just you can't hold it in. Like, and that happens only during like the most like when you're the in most awkward moments. Okay, no. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I feel like still the loud ones. Yeah, maybe. yeah. The loud ones. I feel like the loud ones because it's guaranteed to not stink. Like they don't mm. stink. Yeah, yeah. You just match it with like whenever the song's on. Like yeah, you know. you just <laughs> now watch out, quickly <laughs> I fall for you. <laughs> no, what, what, was our, what was our song of the day today? Last night we, we are like the liquor talk. <laughs> don't know any line other than that one. Yeah, so I feel like we've done time. more singing in this episode than talking. Dude, I love singing, dude. Yeah, it's great. You know, I've recently started to really enjoy Amy Shark music. I'm not, yes. I don't know why. Sway My Way. Mm. I think I forgot the lyrics, actually. No. Say, yeah. you'll say, don't come and go like you do. Sway my way. Yeah, I need to know. Okay, so. All about you. You're an Amy Shark fan, aren't you? That's really interesting. So, like, on top of the. Sports yes. that you follow, you also follow Amy Shark and well, you're a Tay fan. Okay, Amy Shark <laughs> over Tay Tay, Amy Shark over anyone. So, if Tay Tay came, if, if Tay Tay's concert um, was at the same time as Amy Shark, are we okay right now? Currently, I'd go to Taylor Swift because I've never seen her. But all right, what if Amy Shark didn't go song. to that Amy Shark concert, you could never go to another Amy Shark concert ever again? Hang on, so go to a Taylor Swift concert. Or a- Amy Shark, but you can't... If you go to Taylor Swift, you can't do Amy Shark ever again. Or if you go to Amy Shark, you can never do Taylor Swift ever again. You can't do Taylor Swift anyways. Well, I'd, I'd, I'd go to <laughs> Amy get Shark. Get Amy I'd, Shark. I'd go to Amy Shark 20 times over a Taylor Swift concert. But, like, right now, because I've seen Amy Shark 10 times. It, 10 and, times? Yeah, Holy so shit. Shit. I want to go to a concert. But, and I've never seen Taylor Swift. So right now, if they ended up on the same day, I'd go to Taylor Swift and then just go to another Amy Shark one. I'd go to the one with the next day. Yeah. <laughs> Done that before two nights in a row. That was great. Jesus. I still don't understand how you swim good after all, like, you don't even rest. I'm yeah, this guy manages good. to, like, whoop our asses sometimes and he's, like, well, came back I, from a concert. Yeah, but I still had, like, good sleep. <laughs> yeah. Actually, two of my best swims ever have been the day after an Amy Shark concert. So well, apparently... The um the boys have been saying like they swim better the day after getting pissed. Okay, well I don't agree. Oh yeah, I don't I don't agree with that. Well no, definitely not. I definitely don't agree with that. Well, no, that. The no, boys no, week after his eighteenth birthday was just <laughs> a bit of a struggle, wasn't Saturday it? Saturday was alright. Yeah. <laughs> a week um, after. <laughs> yes. Um yeah, no. I yeah, state short course last year, the fifteen hundred was the day after. That I know which I've got so I'm gonna sixteen double eight. Yeah, no I went sixteen oh one. What did Nolan go? Sixteen thirty eight. Yeah. I met Dylan at Darwin. Darwin, yeah. Yeah. When we I sat on 2021. your hip for yeah. two hours straight. I just I you. just knew that after that, like I just knew that I could back myself in the last yeah. fifty minutes. So I just like Well, it's not like we were gonna catch Nick and Bailey, so yeah. it's like there was no real point in either of strike. Yeah. And then you got like ten meters away from me and then I'm like, pulled you back in <laughs> and then you got away from me again. <laughs> yeah, fuck. That was a, that was that was my first ever 10k. Same. Yeah, and that was a long like isn't hot. It's water. it's in like 30 degree water. It's 12 833 meter laps with a run up finish. We we both passed out. I, I passed out dangerously close to the, to the see end I wasn't close to the, the brick wall. Yeah, I wasn't close to the brick wall, but you came across and then I came across and passed out like on the water side. Yeah. We both... Because, like, you've got to imagine, like, swimming 10Ks and then getting up 
Like all your yeah, blood is like run up finish. You think straight away. Yeah. Like it's it's ridiculous. It, yeah, and it's like eight laps around this aqua park thing in this lagoon it's with hot. big fish in it and crocodiles. Yeah. Uh, like what? I th- is, do you have a two meter tall, two meter wide wall? Yeah. Between you and yeah, and the, it's not guaranteed that they're not in there. No, there's signs everywhere like, saying like we could be crocodiles in this enclosure. I remember doing the warm up for that race, and I was the only one in the water, and a fish hit me on the leg, <laughs> and I turned around because I was like, "Oh, there's a person. There's another person there. They're just tapping me." And I I turned around, and there was no one there, and I nearly managed to jump. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I nearly managed to jump out of the water without pushing off anything. Like I, I actually think I went up that much. Do like a cartoon <laughs> style. Yeah, it was like that was the scariest moment of my life. I remember, was that fish hitting my leg? <laughs> Darwin Waterfront precinct. <laughs> what twenty twenty one? It was, it was a traumatic it day. That was a good race. I'll do it again. And there's more prize money on that than like Queensland State. Oh, yeah. Some prize money is ridiculous. I think it was doubled that year though. Yeah. So Dylan, um, I've been meaning to ask you, yes. what is your favorite coffee? Um, if we're talking coffee to just drink, um, ice oat latte. That's my set. Or an oat latte if it's under like 15 degrees. Oh, yeah. Oat is the way to go. Oat, yeah. oat, oat is amazing. It is. Yeah. I, yeah, like, it, I don't, like, I'm fine with dairy, but oat milk tastes better than ring. Yeah. In, yeah. A, co- in a coffee. You hear that, guys? Hot chocolate. Put it from a barista. Yeah. A barista and, himself, and, not vegan. And oat milk is the easiest milk to steam, so don't order soy milk and expect your coffee to taste good <laughs> because it curdles. You hear that, everyone in New South It's, it's a real pet piece of yours. when you order extra hot soy milk, it's going to curdle like porridge. <laughs> or someone else doesn't coconut milk with froth. And it's like coconut milk doesn't froth. Doesn't oat milk like froth really easily? Yeah, oat, oat milk basically steams the same as full yeah. cream and like art uh, wise is basically the same as full cream. Almonds are all right. Soy, soy and coconut are painful. Macadamia is like half and half. Mm. So what's your favourite bean? Yes. Well, fa- not favourite bean, but my favourite roastery coffee company, Industry Beans. They're amazing. Um, their Instagram is just at Industry Beans. It's really simple. Uh, not sponsored. No, not sponsored. Not sponsored, not sponsored <laughs> yet, but ab- yet. absolutely love them. Um, he wouldn't mind Dylan, <laughs> Dylan wants a sponsorship this is my, this is my application no. when Dylan starts his own cafe he's oh, expected yeah that would be <laughs> no but um, yeah so Industry Beans they they started in Fitzroy they've got a few stores in Victoria a few in uh, New South Wales and then they've got two in Brisbane they've got like a flagship Brisbane one with a restaurant and then they've got like a little espresso bar yeah in the it's the best coffee I've ever tasted by yeah. the mile ale and their food's amazing too. So like beans, like beans. So how coffee beans? How does that work? They come off trees. <laughs> <don't they>? Okay, <laughs> so well, they it's there's like a coffee. Wait, plant. can I try to explain to you what it is? Oh no! <laughs> Go explain to Dylan what a coffee okay, bean. I'll is. try to explain, and then you tell me how right I am. Yeah. Okay, so a coffee bean is first brought to life by. It's like, so it's like a coffee tree in Africa, I feel like, is it? Um, it Africa, it, it's like a tree Africa, in Africa yeah. or a plant, a tree or a plant, plant, a plant. And there's like, it comes in like a big cluster, like a nut. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think, I think, you're on, I think yeah. it comes in a nut, right? In a, like a nut, like, and then the nut, like you can take the nut off. <laughs> you can take like... You can take the nut, like, no, you can separate the nut into tiny little pieces. And then... This is gory as fuck. <laughs> and then... No um, dissecting nuts. <laughs> yeah. And then you, they take the nuts and they, they wash them. <laughs> and then, you know, they, they're they different. They're, there's different types of coffee beans. You get that. You get, like, okay. a cappuccino. Let him explain no, now. No. That's, <laughs> you're the, wrong the cappuccino there. bean... <laughs> No, okay. you get the cappuccino so, bean. Okay. Like so you've got like if we're talking most like milk coffees, you've got blends. Okay, so your coffee beans are blended. 
Yep. Um, <laughs> yes. Um, anyway. <laughs> so your coffee beans, they're growing in, well, they're all around the world. It depends. And your different types of beans and different flavor notes depend on the region they're growing in. So beans grown in Ethiopia will taste very different to Honduras. Because uh, the soil. Yes. And How the and soil the is growing, watered. The growing conditions, there's a lot to it. Hmm. Um, but, yeah, so they're harvested and then they're um, sent off to roasteries. So um, Industry beans. Yes, industry beans. So where are industry oh. beans from? Well, they're based in oh, – they're – like, I don't know. Oh, 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 Let's have a look. Oh, so he wants to get sponsored by Industry right. Beans, but he doesn't even know where they get their beans from. Well, they've got a few different blends. I reckon it's from um, South Africa. Uh, yeah. Oh, my God. From- well, I can't Google it because your Wi Fi doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, but so Industry Beans have a few different blends. So, most milk coffees will be a blend of th- usually three different regions um and you'll get your tasting notes from that so um and then your your black coffees and most specialty cafes will be a single origin so that'll come from one place because you get a lot more pronounced flavor Mm. from a single origin but um yeah so they're sent off to roasteries they're roasted they're yeah they make the blends up um yeah and then like your lattes cappuccinos stuff like that that's all different methods of texture in the milk although in saying that in specialty Wait, what yeah i thought right cappuccino latte was no, like a bean no 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 so they're all the same things you're all shocked that was what that, that's ridiculous that's bro. okay so specialty coffee in australia the thing is nowadays like a lot the in terms of texture in milk is pretty much the same across all three so you you're not going to go and get a cappuccino anymore where it's like 90% froth. Like that's old in days. Nowadays, you want like half a centimetre to a centimetre of foam on the top Dude, of the I milk. think you lost me. And then, <laughs> like, you know how you drink your coffee? Yeah, no, right. And there's the milk at the bottom. I know, but there's foam. foam. I know there's yeah. foam, right? But what, how do you make them taste different if there's the same bean? They don't really taste different. That's the thing. Like a latte and a flat white, a latte and a flat white are really the same thing. And then a cappuccino has chocolate on top. That's really that's that basically it. Right. Yeah. Oh, and if, if you're having a dine in, then like a latte will come in a glass and a flat white will come in a ceramic. But re- they're very similar. Um, and then obviously you've got your long blacks, which are just water macchiatos, which are like this shot with. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I'll cut that out. We'll cut I, want, that out. I want to mark something here. Yes. Um, today, maybe I think today or yesterday or something is has been one year since our little man here, Nolan Carell, has dropped out of high school. Yes, it's been a year. <laughs> Why, why did why I drop out of school? <laughs> yes. Um, yes. Well, no. We both, the both of us, me first, but we both <laughs> are very set on what we want to do with our life. Yeah, and it does fair not involve school. It does not involve finishing grade 12, so I think it is a perfectly reasonable decision. Yeah. But yes, I dropped out at the end of grade 10. Uh, yeah, end of grade 10. So yeah. And I dropped out half And then year I old. joined Noosa and Nolan just... Three months later, I idolised me so much. No, like, I think <laughs> just dropped out. I'm gonna Dude, drop. I think I was like literally in year 11, like borderline about to like be corrupt. Yeah, well, you nearly then, dropped out at the first school holidays and then yeah. you whisked out and then you did it in the second one. So I went away on a trip, <laughs> right? I went away on a trip. No one was at school. Life was all right. <laughs> like I, was, shit. I was getting not gonna lie. the parents and the house all to myself from the day because I'd already finished school. And then I get home <laughs> I just spilled my and water like my mum <laughs> picks me up from the airport. <laughs> mum picks me up from the airport and she's like, Killian, when you get home, no one's got something to tell you. <laughs> now, you might not be 100% happy with his decision, but it's all right. Try and be supportive. So with this... <laughs> With this in mind, I thought that she was saying that you'd come out as gay. No, hell no. <laughs> we're but still waiting on that one. Dylan, we're that waiting one. on yours, all right? Let's be but, honest. So, um, so, yeah, I was. I thought you were gay. And then when you told me what happened, I was like, oh, 
Oh, that's fine. Oh, that's fine. And like, it, it would have been fine if you were gay. But the thing is, I was expecting so much more than you dropping out of school. Trying not to get cancelled. <laughs> it would have been fine if you weren't. Well, no, no, it would have yeah, been fine. It's fine. I, it I don't fine. care. Yeah. But the thing is, I thought that was what's going to happen. So I was like, I was like, I can see that, you know, like I can see no one being gay. But like, I can see that. What the <laughs> hell? How? No, okay, because well, actually, because let, let's last be year, honest, Killian is the singlest out of the three. Okay, the yeah, moment, yeah, so. yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. But last year, a year ago today, no one hadn't been with a girl for a solid, a year, solid six, five or six years. And let's be honest, does year six count? Does your six count? I I think it was a pretty good relationship. Now now he's in a relationship. Yeah. He's got a girl, so it's all right. But beforehand, <laughs> I was in a relationship. I'm not sure about Dylan, but I know that no one wasn't. Well, I'm Dylan, like, this was guy's gay. No, I'm not gonna say that one. Never mind. Hundred <laughs> percent. But yeah, I, I totally read the room wrong in that. Yeah. Let's get to the game. Let's remove. The yeah, let's get to the game. Let's remove all the hearts. All right, so I'll start. Oh, we need. Sing. All right, for this one, can we please not sing a whole um, Amy Shark song <laughs> beforehand? Dude, you're not cutting out yeah, the Amy Shark song, though. That was busting. But I, I reckon you should sing. I only want to be with you. All right. I reckon you should sing <laughs> okay, you're not the Guess Who to, intro. Okay. But, like, well, you need to rap it. Can you rap? I cannot rap. My, the closest I come I'm to rapping rap is singing Can I Shout at Yours? It's Bro, I, I can just sing again if you guys want, really. But Yeah, I think no one's really Can you rap? Singing. Can you try and rap? I'll uh, start a beat. Like no one or me? No, no, no. no, no. no I'll start a beat and then you follow along yeah. and then no one will rap. Uh, well, I can't really rap, but I'm I might join in as well. Yeah. Uh, all right, uh, all right. Uh, all right. Three, three, two, one. Bing, bing, bing. <laughs> Yo, 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 we're here for oh, the guess who, guess who, guess who I am. Yo, 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 guess who I am, guess who I am, yo, 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 guess who I am, guess who I am, guess who I am, yo, 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 yo. How was that rapping? Well, this is on Spotify forever. <laughs> that was almost as bad as that song called Panda, where they the only word they say is Panda. The only word you said was yo. Banda, banda. <laughs> banda, banda, yo, 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 yo. Right. Anyway. Right, so we me and Killian, Killian and I um, have a person in mind. And yes. you get to ask 10 questions because we've changed the rule. 10 questions. Yes. And then after those 10 questions or during those 10 questions, yes. you can take three guesses. Okay. And this one's a we can only We can only ones. answer. Our only answers are yes or no. Okay. Am I going? Yes. yes. Okay. Male or female? We can't answer that one. No. Oh, are they male? Yes. Yes. Are they a sports person? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, what's their main role? Fuck no. Yeah. What the hell? Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Dude. This yeah. is lost food. What's his, what, what's his main thing? Don't give it away. Okay. Okay. His main thing is not sport. Are they an artist, like a singer? No. Oh, Dude. What the fuck? Okay. His main thing is not singing. His main thing is not singing. Oh, um, <laughs> are, they, are they an actor? Yes. Yes. Okay. Hugh Jackman. No. That's one of your guesses. So that's four questions, one guess. Okay. Are most of their movies like children, like GPG children's movies? No. No. I'm not getting this. I'm doing this forfeit. <laughs> um, I'm terrible. You're halfway there. What's the forfeit again? Uh, lemon, lemon juice and salt. And salt. Oh, oh, you know, I'm going to join into that one. I'm going to join in, even if I win. Or yeah, I'll so. join in. We'll join okay. in. That makes me feel better. I'm not doing it if I do it this time. Okay. But I probably will. Um, okay. <sighs> you got five more questions. Yeah, I know. I don't like this. Ah, you all good. You know they're an actor. Yeah. That's a male actor. That really slims things down. Are they American? Yes. Yes. Okay. You got four more questions. American. Oh, The Rock? Yes. 
Ah, oh, god <laughs> dang it! <laughs> no, no, because The Rock does WWE. Yeah, yeah that's and, like, and he maybe. also oh, no, but he's, you, no, you can't say The Rock's not a sports person. He is a sports person. Yeah, it's a sp- and yeah. He's an and actor. he does sing. He has a few songs on Spotify. He's an actor. All right, but he's so an actor. can you go get the juice and the salt? Fuck. And we'll pause well, this. I will join him on that. All right, right we're, we're back. We're back. Time. Welcome back. Forfeit time. Time for the forfeit. So, so the forfeit. Juice. What's the forfeit, Dylan? You yeah. named it. Yeah, I came up with this randomly today. But um, yeah, lemon juice and salt. A shot of lemon juice and salt. That's not. It's coming down. Yeah, you need yeah, yeah, to squeeze it. Look, squeeze it, excuse me. Yeah, okay. that's a bit that's, of salt. That's oh, nice. shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. No. Bro's going to wake up thirsty. Dude, morning. no, 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 no. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. Okay, everyone's had three cups of the salt. We had a bit more. Oh. All right. Oh, just that. Time. Cheers. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No. Oh, my. Okay. <laughs> 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 oh, <sorry. laughs> okay. All right, ready? You're going to stir. Cheers. <laughs> Great. Hang on, I to it's like the smelling salt all over again. Bro, just sent it. Oh. You just sent it. Oh. I think Nolan has to do another one. Yeah. You know, there's I no think, more lemon juice. Well, Nolan just has to beat some salt. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Three, three, two, one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that is in that my is mouth. <laughs> Oh, it doesn't go away, trust me. <laughs> wow. It was a good one. My it's stomach good. is feeling it, bro. It was a good forfeit, though. <laughs> that's worse. I reckon that's worse than it's Bro, my sounds. teeth, you know, your teeth, like, when you drink mm. a lot of lemon, like, yeah. they get really porous. Mm. Oh, they're going to be like that. Yeah. I reckon that's worse than the salt, the smelling salt. Yeah, because this one tastes bad, and the smelling salt's just... Yeah. I've done a lot of shit. I've tried the smelling salts. Episode six, I think I've lost every single forfeit. Well, we still have yet to do episode five. What? (laughs) (laughs) Well, episode six has been recorded before episode five, so. Yeah, but. Most likely, Kelly will lose episode five. Yeah, most likely. Kelly needs to just be better, I think. think. (laughs) Um, Yeah, that is going to be in my throat for a week. Yeah. Really it's not the only thing going to be in this school. Well, <laughs> Nolan. <laughs> Nolan, you are really cool <laughs> tonight, eh? So, is that it? Yeah, it's been yeah. a pleasure, Dylan. It has we been a pleasure. Really, uh, Hopefully, we'll have you on soon again. Yes, yeah. definitely. It's, it's been good. It's been it's one, good. one of it's our longest. One of the longest, longest. Probably the longest podcast yeah. we've had. It's doubled our first episode, so... Yeah. You know why it's really doubled? Because we love talking to Dylan. Yeah. Dylan is just... Dylan is a good vibe. A very good vibe. Hopefully, your listeners feel the same way. Thank I you can still much. feel that salt and lemon in the back of my head. Yeah, it's, it's still there. It's and it's in my like stomach. Here. Yeah. Like, I, my stomach is... I feel like if I burp, I'm going to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> no one's got about 10 kilos of pasta in his stomach. Yeah. <laughs> and about... a little bit of sauce on my shirt. No, I've got spark in my Anyway. All right, so plug your socials. Are, yes. Uh, what are my socials? D White Wave. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> it's it's Dylan.Thompson.05. That Instagram. is his sports account. That is most, yeah. Well, Anything sports well, related. Rid of the other ones. Believe it or not, Dylan we are both 05s Thompson and I'm actually. Um, no one is actually three months, four months older than Dylan. Somehow. And follow the Gold Coast Suns as well. It's just at GC Suns. <laughs> I'm at Sunshine Coast Lightning. And, uh, I think it's just at Sunshine Coast Lightning as well. And and Amy Shark. And, and, and Amy Shark. And, and, blended. Blended. and Industry Beans. And Infinite Nutrition Australia. Yeah. And, shout out to Infinite and, Nutrition. Um, uh, what's her name? Your housemate? Who Alice. was Alice. There you go. Alice. Shout out to Alice. Yeah. Shout out to Alice. Yeah. Shout out to Everyone. Shout out to everyone. Yeah. Like, really. Shout out to you guys. Shout yes. out to you guys for listening to Shout our podcast. Shout out to the seven people that are listening to this. Oh, this is <laughs> Hey, come on. <laughs> hey, you're going to a mop and a half. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of people. It'll be right. triple digits, yeah. if not four digits. Yeah. Four digits. It'll be four digits. Yeah. Four digits? Yeah. yeah. We're good. Four digits yeah. or select money. Okay, goodbye. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what? No one Peace what? out. Goodbye. All right, thanks, thank guys. You. See you all See you next time. Next episode. Thank Bye. you, Jim. Thank you, thank you.